But yeah, it, sometimes they really are bad. But, yeah, I don't know. I think everybody has their peeve about certain controls in video games. Like Variax, for example, for anybody who knows him. He hates ladders in video games. I'm not sure why. Maybe because they don't generally work very well. I'm pretty sure that's Variax. Not entirely certain. And I don't know what that neighing was. You know, hoof, hoof clapping. Here's a cutscene, though. Hope you enjoy. Oh, it started raining. Dun, dun, dun. Don't worry, that song will come up. Uh oh, get out of the way. She has a damn good arm. She fucking throws that ocarina into the water. What if she had missed? That ocarina would be broken and the quest would be over. Done. Would have had to actually physically wait the seven years. Oh, see, told you this fucking song would play. Ugh, I lost her. Hmm. I'll give him the voice that uh, Aaron gave him in Wind Waker from Game Grumps. Hang on, I gotta get a drink first. It'll be a very similar voice, not spot on. You. Over there, little kid. You must have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me! No fucking way, man. I ain't talking to you. So you think you can protect them from me? You've got guts, kid. Oh, get that sword. <laughs> Piece of me, very funny. I like your attitude. I find it strange that a bit of shadow magic creates a ball of light. Pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you are dealing with? I am Ganondorf. And soon I will rule the world. He's got a weird head thing going. Ow, that kind of hurt a little bit. <coughs> Let's go get that ocarina. Seems like a good idea. And then we gotta sit through another cutscene where Zelda teaches us the song of time that we already know. But we know it out of character. And that's the big thing. You know, this, is, this is a role-playing game to a certain degree. I mean, role-playing games aren't necessarily games where you just fucking level up. Role-playing games are, you know, games where you play a role. Obviously. That's why they're called role-playing games. Da, da 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 The Ocarina of Time. It's the royal family's hidden treasure which Zelda left behind. It glows with a mystical light. Oh, here comes the cutscene. Do, 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 when you hold this ocarina in your hand, I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I could leave you the ocarina in this melody. Yeah, see? We already know that song. Oh, shit. I fucked it up already, though. I'm getting ahead of myself. I love the song of time. It's great. You've learned the song of time. Anyway, let's get this shit show over with quickly. Uh, play this melody in front of the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Da 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 da.
<sighs> Navi's freaking out for whatever reason. I mean, she freaks out at good times and bad times. That was not a good time. That was kind of just like, why are you doing that? A good time is when you become adult Link. She fucking looks you up and down and goes, Jesus Christ, you're fucking huge. What happened? Because apparently she gets put into stasis as well. To await the seven years. And that's an interesting form of time travel too. It's you know you get put into stasis to await seven years. That's not technically time travel. That's some futuristic bullshit that we're not going to get into. However, oh, we've already been in here and it's showing us the thing. I love the music in here. It's great. Like I wonder if there's a full choir remix of this somewhere. I bet there is. It wouldn't surprise me. So let's put the things on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. There we have it. A lovely song. I think I might do something awesome today. And, uh, order it, or maybe today, might be later. Uh, I'm gonna order a fucking USB N64 controller so I can enjoy this in a great way. Because I know those exist. And I need one. I desperately need one. I gotta get one that's see through green just like my old one. That way I can relive the nostalgia. This is a pretty fucking awesome scene. Like, if you weren't, if you weren't like, whoa, at this when you were a kid, well, first of all, congratulations on not being a stoner, and second of all, what the hell's wrong with you, because this scene's fucking awesome. Like, look at this. Susan, isn't that... <gasps> the Master Sword. The Blade of Evil's Bane. It's that legendary blade. The Master Sword! <sighs> let's get it. But first, let's take a look around. See, isn't this nice? You know, this is an impressive scene when you're a kid. Jesus. It's like... You walk up slowly. Well, actually, when you're a kid, you walk up excitedly. But when you're older, you realize the gravity of the situation. And you walk up slowly so as not to ruin it. You step into the shaft of light you look at the shiny blade upon a shining blade upon the pedestal sunken into the stone below the triforce surrounding it the triforce on it and you you take it and this music plays you pull it from its stone and all of a sudden this bright blue light fucking comes out of nowhere and you Ganondorf because you opened the way to the Triforce. <laughs> Excellent work. As I thought you held the keys to the door of time, you have led me to the gates of the Sacred Realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. <laughs> I like his evil laugh, but I like mine more. Moin. Yeah, moin. Moin. Susan. Wake up, Susan. The chosen one. Here it is. Here we are. In the sacred realm. Look at this guy. He's been here alone the whole time. Dun, dun, dun. I am Razor, one of the ancient soldiers. And as I got the ancient soldiers built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. I'm not gonna keep doing that. Uh, this is the Chamber of Sages inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the sacred realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the Sacred Realm. 
Susan, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. See, here's where Navi freaks out. Because she's like, damn, you got big. And his clothes grew with him. Either that or he was changed as uh, as he grew, which is kind of creepy. But, nah, no necessary. Look, Susan, you're big now. Or, sorry, here's the voice that I gave uh, Navi. <laughs> Look, Susan, you're big now. You've grown up. The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Yeah, I guess so. But remember, though you open the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thebes, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and, with its power, he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in this sacred realm. Namely, this chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. Okay, this guy's just going on and on, and I'm fucking tired of it. I just... Yeah, keep my spear with you, find the power of the other sages, add their might to your own, blah blah blah. You know, do quest things. Oh, here comes the light medallion. I love this game. This is a good game. It's certainly more of an epic quest than Majora's Mask, but Majora's Mask has a lot more underlying themes that are kind of really deep and foreboding. It's just a dark game, Majora's Mask. And don't get me wrong, Ocarina of Time is pretty dark too. But Majora's Mask is a hell of a lot darker. Oh, okay, never mind. So now we're big, hooray! And our shield got bigger, too. Not sure how that worked. Susan, we're back in the Temple of Time. But have seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. Hey, Let's do that. Yeah, shield's way bigger than it is when you're a kid. Uh-oh, here's Sheik. <sighs> so many cutscenes. He's got good instincts. I've been waiting for you, hero of time. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from a sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest, one in a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, and one inside a goddess of the sand. Together with the Hero of Time, the Awakened Ones will blind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. <sighs> this is the legend of the people of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. They're not your people, Zelda. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. No, you're not. As I see you standing there, holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary Hero of Time. I mean, there's been another one? If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. So if Link didn't believe this, he could just fucking walk out of here with a badass sword and nobody, it wouldn't matter. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, I am sure you know. Because of the evil t power in the temple, she cannot hear the, re the awakening call from the sacred realm. 
Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Hang on a second. Oh. There we go. We're Link. A big Link. Uh, it's Susan. We're big Susan. You know, we say things like tit and hot. There you go. So, uh, if you watch this far, Jesus Christ, congratulations, you've just watched like 10 fucking videos. Uh, actually, it's gonna be more like 12 by this point. Almost 13, Jesus. Uh, plus the other 5, holy crap, if you've watched 18 videos by this point, fucking congratulations, mate. Anyway, I right, save it. Uh, see? Okay, so, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And, uh, if not, then, well, you know, whatever. Here's my mouse. Hi, mouse. Good to see you again. Yeah, moving it around. So, have a good one. And I'll see you in the next part. Well, next session, actually, where we will do the Forest Temple, and probably just the Forest Temple. This was a long, exhausting session for me. So, take care. Bye, boy.